All right, so as some of you might know, Google Voice has been having trouble with VOIP software and hardware because they changed the login method or password method. Apparently, you can't use text as passwords anymore, and a lot of the software runs that way. So uh, we have to basically change the SSL, or the way we log in and use our passwords and stuff. And um, I'm just I'm not a Linux guru or anything, but I figured it out. I, I read some forums, and I figured out how to do it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. Um, now, I have asterisk 11.7. Uh, apparently, if you upgrade to 11.22, you have no problems. But for those of you who don't want to upgrade, this is one way to do it. And if you have a lower version, like asterisk 1.8 something, like um, an old PBX in a flash green or something, apparently there's a whole different file you have to edit. So I'll post a link to that below and uh, go ahead and see if you can get that done. All right, so let's get, just get started. You need two programs. You need PuTTY to be able to log in remotely to your um, server and WinSCP to be able to connect to the FTP and edit the file. Starting with WinSPC, uh, go ahead and just um, get the host, uh, the IP address, and there's the port 22. Use your root login and password to get in. All right, so once you get in, um, this is the folder you're going to go to. You're going to go to user, source, SRC, then asterisk, and then uh, res. And you're going to scroll all the way down, and you're going to see a file called res underscore xmpp.c. Just, uh, I'm going to right-click and hit edit, and that's going to open in um, my notepad++ which I'll just drag and drop right here. All right, so this is the line you're looking for, and I'll also paste this below. You're looking for a line exactly like this, with the parentheses, SSL v3 method, whatever. Um, for me, I already changed mine, so this is where it was right here, and you have to change it to this line right here, exactly. Um, basically, you're changing the from a three to a two three you're just adding a two right here so you can just add a two and hit control s to save it this is what it should look like when you're done and you can close this and it'll automatically if you use that method if you did it this way it'll just upload uh, the edited file right back to the FTP so you're ready to go now once you do that you just open up putty or however you connect to it and get to this line and you type in right at the root you type in CD slash usr slash src slash asterisk okay and here you would type make right at this point um, this is at the root directory of asterisk make it's going to start uh, compiling uh, the source code there and after it's done you'll type make install just like that and hit enter and that's exactly what i did and and that's uh, you might have to uh, kill the processes first i hope you don't have to do that i did that not knowing ahead of time, I killed all the processes and how I did that. If, if it gives you an error there, you might have to kill the process. And let me just show you quick how to do that. You type in um, right here, PSAUX, and you'll see all this asterisk stuff. If you see like this, for example, if it's giving you trouble because it's running in the background, maybe it won't let you compile or install. If it doesn't, otherwise ignore this. Um, you would type kill and then like 1633. This is the I process number right there. And you'd scroll up, and then you'd kill 1454, 1455, et cetera. Just kill all those over and over. And once you kill all those, do the same thing, make, and then make install. And once you get done with that, you should be able to log um, or reboot, which is just you could just type reboot here. You can type shutdown dash H now and um, you know get it going again. So um, after I did that, when I rebooted, uh, I went to the the free PBX administrator and I went to uh, connectivity Google voice motif and checked out my two Google voices and both of them said status connected and it, it was disconnected before that for a lot of people so I'm looking at it right now I didn't have to change anything else I was just able to instantly reconnect with CSIP simple on my Android device and make phone calls and it's back to normal and I am so thankful for the people who um, who uh, gave this advice and people who made some posts. Um, that was T-E-N-O-R-T-I-M. I got that info from, from the um, pbxinaflash.com forum. So I appreciate that. I'll, I'll post all the links below and all links to the software and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys can get it all done and uh, 
you know, get around this uh, disconnecting thing. All right, take it easy.